Hello everybody, welcome back to another Regret the Great Awake video, and this is my, hopefully, final part of my Regret Tannic tutorial. It's been a quite a while since I've uh, actually recorded another vid, I think it's well, like August or something, it's, it's been a while. So I figured I might as well make a, another one, just finishing this off, finishing this up, uh, getting it done. So, on the actual main design here, I've added a few changes, I've uh, I have added these lifeboats here, and a little antenna here, and world I just added lifeboats and this little antenna sort of thing, whatever you want to call that, you know, it connects the wire to the uh, Marconi room on the inside. So as I, I think I probably said this before, um, oh, for this ship, I originally had an interior for it, but then the world with that interior got deleted. However, I still have all like the window placements and all that saved, and all the details on here. So I'm not going to do an interior tutorial or anything. I also had rigging lines for it, but I'm not going to do a tutorial for those. Just because I want to get this ship out of the way and done. So hopefully this will be the last part, and it'll look like this when it's all done. So, yeah, this video will really just focus on all the small little details like the windows and doors and all that. So this one here, your ship isn't really going to look like this. Uh, it's going to look like this without all the weird colors and without the masts and random posts here and there because all those are just stuff I've marked out uh, to put in. So first, to start things off, we're going to want to get uh, black stained glass pane well, a pane and the block, and then also, uh, come on, let me get in there, a birch door, and an iron, not iron door. So first, you're going to want to go to the bow, and on this white part, go to the second block up, and count back, one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the tenth. Break those two blocks and put a block, glass block there. Actually, this other side doesn't look right. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Hmm. It's two. Ah, oh, okay. Screw that up. There we go, that's fine. I know it's not. So a three block camp. So three block camp and um oh, I see. Just fix this marking out real quick. There we go. And that should be fine. Yeah. So after you put that block there, leave one block gap, and break that block and replace it with the glass. And the next one, replace this with a block. Well, I suppose you could add a block there and put a pane. And then leave one block gap and replace this block with a pane. Leave a three block gap, one, two, three, and then replace these two blocks with panes. Put another well, since that window's there, just gonna make that one a glass block. Mm. I do it really just the same thing on the other side. So, nine block gap, and then a block, one block gap, and then a block, one block gap, and then a pane, one block gap, and then a pane, three block gap, and then a pane, and a block, like that. There we go. And then on the this side of the bow, foxhole. Uh, go from this block here and go one in, replace that with a pane, then leave a three block gap and put a birch door and do it on the other side. So leave one block gap with the pane, three block gap and a door. And then there's this back wall here. So if you go over on this side, this first block should be a pane, two block gap and a pane, then leave a four block gap and put a pane, and do the same thing on the other side. Although, so say, block air, 
pane there, and then leave a two block gap, and this one is going to be behind the stair. Then leave a four block gap and put a pane. And I'll move on to the side windows here. So we have, if you go from this stair block here, if you don't count the stair, you go one, two, three, four, and on the fifth, put a pane there. And then, hold on, I didn't, okay. And then leave a three block gap, put a pane, two 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 block gap, put a pane, and just continue that, I think, all the way to the back, really. Uh, let me just count these, we have... All these windows are two blocks apart. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty. I guess it do twenty-two with the uh, twenty-two windows spaced two blocks apart. I have a three-block gap and put a pane. I leave a four-block gap and put a pane. To two panes there. Leave a two block gap, put two panes, two block gap, and put two panes, two block gap, and put two panes. And then you're really just gonna do that on the other side. Although my world edit is kind of screwed right now on the server, it's not working properly. So just put these windows in on the other side. One, two, three. So all these windows are just the same on the other side. It's just a mirror image. Which goes basically all the way to the front. Almost. Three block up there. And that's good. So now going back over to the stern. And go on this inside part of the well deck. And for this block, leave a gap. Put a door. And leave a block and replace the with two panes. Leave a two block gap, put like a double window. That's what I'm going to call them. So put on, on the other side the same thing a door, one block gap, double window, two block gap, and double window. And then over here, leave one block gap on this side, do a window, do a three block gap, and then put a door. Do the same on this side, so leave one block gap, and put a pane, and a three block gap, and then put a door. We go now for the actual stern. I never took out these signs. Take out all these signs. I guess I forgot to do that in that tutorial. So anyway, um, go from the stair. So not including the stair. Go one, two, three. On the fourth, put a block there, not a pane. And a block above it too. And leave a two block gap and put a pane. Leave a two block gap and put a pane. And leave a two block gap. Break that. Put a block and a pane. Here we go. I do that on the other side. Which I forgot to mark out. Two, three, I think it was this. Yeah. And then a block above. Two block gap and a pane. Two block gap and a pain, a two block gap and a pain. There we go. So that's all the windows for the uh, let's see. So that's 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 really a B deck. So if you move on to a A deck, stop when you here. Go on the inside of this part. And if you go from here, you have a two block gap, but a pain. You have another two block gap and put a pane. You have another two block gap and put a pane. Just do that on the other side. So you have two block gap and a pane, two block pane, two block pane. You should have one block in the middle here. And on the sides here, you have a two block gap, put a double window, and a two block gap and a pane. And here, you're going to put a door, a, a double door actually. And just do all that on the other side. So the double window, single window. And double door. 
and now go out of this area and leave a one, two, three black gap and put a pane and just leave have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight windows space two blocks apart. Leave a three block four block gap actually. Put a pane, one block gap, and put a double iron door. And then leave a two block gap and put a pane, one block gap and a pane, one block gap and a double iron door again. One block gap and a pane. And go on the inside here. We'll break through here. And uh, on this wall, move a block and a pane, two block gap and a pane, one block gap and a double door. Leave one block gap and a pane. And these four blocks will break out. Go on this side, put a double door. Then leave a single block gap, put a pane. Two block gap and a pane, two block gap and a pane, two block gap and a pane. And then here, leave a two block gap and a pane. Here, leave a two block gap and a pane, two block gap and a pane, two block gap and a pane, two block gap and a pane. And then just do a full one block gap and put these double windows there. Now do everything on the other side. So if you start off way in the front, well, that's done. So just do all these windows the exact same. I would use World Edit to just copy them over. Copy, flip, paste. However, the World Edit is being, isn't really working right now on the server, so I have to stick with this painful process of doing everything by hand. Alright, should be a little door. And some more windows. And more windows. Oh, there you go. So now there's the boat deck windows. So if you go to the front here, if you go to this middle block, go a block apart and do birch door. You have a three block gap and a pane. And then on this side, you have a two block gap, put a pane. And then leave a four block gap. Put a pane, four block gap and a pane, four block gap and a pane, four block gap and a pane, three block gap and a pane, two block gap and a pane, one block gap and a double door, one block gap and a pane, two block gap and a pane, two block gap and a pane, one block gap and a double door, one block gap and a pane, two block gap and a pane, three block gap and a pane, four block gap and a pane, two block gap and a double pane. Two block gap and then a single pane. Then out here, just this middle block, put a pane. This spot here, put a birch door on the back, put a pane like that. And now just copy all that over to the other side. So if you need to, you can just uh, rewind the video and go back to the instructions if you really need them. So just put all these in. Like that. And almost there. And there we go. Now there's one more spot to put some windows. And that's up in the wheelhouse here. So in the front, you're just going to want to put four windows spaced a block apart. Three, four, like that. And on the side, leave a block gap and I'll put a pane. Then a one block gap and put a double door. Leave a three block gap and put a pane. Leave a four block gap and put a pane like that. One, two, three, four. And then do the same on the other side. So get the pane, double door, pane, and a pane. There you go. So that's all the windows in place. Hope that wasn't too confusing. So now I'll get onto some more detail. So on the bow here, what you're going to want to do first is. Put in the handrails, actually. So, for each block, you can see, uh, just how, how it goes diagonally. Put an extra block there on the corner. For each of these corners, just put a block there. Just like that. Just to fill those in. So now take some iron bars. Actually, before we do... Well, yeah, you can do the iron bars. 
So just take the iron bars all the way around, but then in the front, just go across like that, and get a stair block, to just to just get a smooth quartz stair, and put it on the very tip like that, and then keep going around, like this, and then go around the back, like that. There we go. Ignore those stair blocks. We'll get to those eventually. So now, for I guess we'll start off with this some other details. If you go to the very middle part of the bow here, go to the furthest block back before the iron bars, and just take this and get a iron trap door. Just put it there. So that, um, why that's there is because that's just like a little vent. So when I originally did the interior, there was a fireplace down in the bow with the library. So that's why that's there. And then after that, put a uh, black, black concrete block and put some stone buttons on the side. So that'd be like a pulley for this crane to go up and down. Now for the actual mast. You're going to want to get yellow terracotta. So, on the block next to the black. Oh, shoot. Um, so, get the black concrete put there. And then the iron bar. Stone buttons on the side. Take the yellow terracotta. Go four blocks into one of that. And then go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now you can do the crow's nest here, or whatever it's called, and put some blocks around like this. This is on the one, two, three, fourth block up from this section, and just go around there and the top. With a stair block like that, there, 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 and there. So that's the crow's nest, and then you can get a bell button and put a bell up here, like that. And that'll ring. I think I actually use a blackstone. Yeah, use a blackstone button. So now at the top, uh, you're gonna want to get smooth red sandstone stairs. And on the second block down, just go around here, and in the front, put one like that. And on the top, put a fence post, an oak fence, and an end rod. Just at the top. So this gives it a little light at the top. And then get your ladders, and... Take it from the bottom of the mast all the way up. So that's the crow's nest. And then all the way up. And that's the mast done. So now we'll get onto this cargo hatch here. So get some smooth quartz blocks. And leave a block in front of the uh, mast here. And put a block. And that should be three wide. Bring that forward three blocks. So you have a three by four cargo hatch. And then in front of that, you're going to want to get some gray concrete. And then on the corners here, put a block. And then put some more like that. I don't really know how to explain it very well, but put them like that. And then get your some rails. And this will make a little circle here. Just to make it look like a little winch for the chains. For the actual chains, I'll use cobblestone stairs. So just put these in one direction and oscillate them forward and back for six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. And that'll just go to the what would be anchors. I don't really have them here though. The final detail on this is the little anvils, which are 
used as um, uh, what are they called? Bollards? Bo bollards? So something. Something to put the ropes around. So, if you have the last bit of the chain here, go to the wood block and go one, two, three blocks back from that, and then one forward, and put an anvil there. And then, is that right? Is right. And then from there, leave a one, two, three block gap, and put an anvil. Leave a one, two, three, four, five block gap, and put an anvil. And then just copy that to the other side. So put one there, there, and there. That's all the bow details done, except for the staircases, which I'll move on to now. So get some oak stairs, and get some smooth quartz stairs, and go from this edge here, count one, two, three, and on the fourth block, take out the iron bars on that block, and replace it with a stair, and just bring these stairs down, get your smooth quartz stairs, and bring these out, like that, underneath, I don't really know how to, a good way to explain this, but just do it like that. And also get some blocks to put on top of those. And some stairs on top of that. And you can actually bring these handrails forward another block. So then on the other side, do the same thing. I just count to the fourth block in. And put an oak stair here. And there. And then there. And there. And then the blocks underneath. And next to it. And then the blocks on top. And on this side too. Like that. And then the iron bars. So now, I'll move on to the cargo hatches. So these, you're going to want to get smooth quartz block. And some smooth quartz slabs. So from this doorway here, put a block. And then bring that forward five blocks. You have a five blocks there. And then bring it to the other side by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And back four. One, two, three, four. And then just cover all that with the smooth quartz slab. Just as the little cargo hatch cover. And there we go. Then here, do something similar. So go to the window and build forward five. And out six. And then back three. So this only goes forward four. It's just a bit of a smaller hatch. And bring these across. So there we go. And then next to the stairs, put another block there and make this a little square. And then, not totally sure how these are built. Okay. So do another square on top of that and fill that one in. Then go in this middle block, go up four, one, two, three, four, and then get your slabs and stairs. And on the back of here, put a stair, and then on, um, what is it, the second block up? I think it's the second, it is. Okay, so on this, go to the first block, and then the second, and put a block on the bottom, and then go up one two three four five so that's one and then that's two there and then that's three four and five and then take the end rods go from there and bring it back and is there one hanging down There's. so on the bottom of the slab put another end rod I do all that on this side, so we really just leave a two block gap from the corner of the cargo hatch, put a block, and make it a square like that. Bring it up two, up four, stair on the back, and then the current arm, so one, two, three, four, and five, and then the end rods, and then the little other end rod. And then one more a few more details on here. I'm going to, want to take the anvils again. And from the back here, go one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth, put an anvil. And then leave a one, two, three, four block, three block gap. And on the fourth, put another anvil. 
Now replace the blocks in front with a top smooth quartz slab, like that. And just do that on the other side too. There we go. So once that's done, that's all the bow details done. You can head over to the stern, get all those details done. So, uh, in between these windows, we'll have the cargo hatch first. Just build forward, one, two, three, four, and then out six. And then get the slabs again. And then do a little cover on top of that. There we go. Just add this cover. And then back here too. Just really just center seven blocks and four forward. And then put the cover on it. This won't attach to the it won't be right next to the doors. It'll leave a block out from the doors. So, here we go. And then, from, this is kind of tricky to explain. If you go to this section here, it's not the one with the stairs, go to the next one. Ah. And then, you have a two block gap, and then do a corner of the square. And this will be another cargo grain. So, so one, two, three, four, and this one will be facing backward. Like this. One, two, three, come on. Four, and five. And then the, uh, like, like, chain. I guess you can use chains for that. And then do the same thing on this side. Like two block gap in the corner. Create the square. And then build this up. One, one, two, three, four, and then that, and then one, two, three, four, and five, and then the end rods, and then right there. And now, on the front, we actually forgot a detail. Um, I just remembered. Get some oak pressure plates and put it on all the black blocks here. So that'll just uh, make it look like the deck is on top of the black, and it doesn't look awkward. Makes it give it gives it a better look. And I've also forgot to do the crane here. So once again, get to the smooth red and some stairs. And on this black block, go on block above, and then do a block on top of that like that, and do nine rows of these. So that's one, and that's two, three, and then. Four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, and then on the ninth, add a slab on top. So get a uh, slab like that, and then just do a little end rod on the bottom. I think I actually used a uh, actually used a chain and an end rod. So chain and then an end rod there we go now that's the bow finished head back over to the stern and we get this part done since you have the cranes in uh, there's a few anvils so get out your anvils again and from the crane corner go forward two and then out two, and then back two, and put a, a anvil there. And then go one, two, three, four, five block gap, and then another anvil. This one, and then did the same on the other side. So put the anvil there, and there, and then put the block, the top slab in front of that. So that's looking good. That's the well deck done. And now we'll move on to the handrails on the stern. So I'll replace these corner blocks once again. Like that. And then once we're done with that, we'll add the iron bars for the handrails. So get that and put those all the way around. And then around the back. And then... Go around 
to the front again like that and there we go and now I guess we can add the stairs so get your uh, oak stairs and smooth cord stairs and a block again and go one two three four fifth block in this time and add these stairs just like that and go underneath and put them in come on there you go and on the other side and the blocks and then the iron bars do it on the other side so one two three four five and then these stairs And then that'll be and those stairs will be done one right. There you go. And then add the iron bars. So there's the stairs done. And actually while we're at it, we'll add the pressure plates in here again on the black blocks. Just to give it a better look. Ah. So got that done then we'll move on to the actual poop deck so where do I start um, so I guess on this last window here go back one more and on the top put a block if one block gap forward and put a block do it on the other side too and then from here from this block go one two three four five and on the sixth Put a block, same thing on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six. And only in front of this one, put another block. Leave a block in between. And then you're gonna want to build those up. What appears to be three. So build two extra blocks on top of all of those supports. Like that. And then do a Basically, just make all this this long rectangle with slabs, with these top slabs. So, I'll put all those in, and then fill in the inside with stone slabs. And then, now where this support would be, take out that block, and I think I use use oak stairs. So take out that block and put an oak stair and then bring those stairs forward down and then behind that put those stairs and that one can stay the same. So place those blocks and put in these stairs and then get your iron bars again and just take these around all the way around and I think that's right let me just check it yep that's good and now we'll get on to the actual benches so actually let's do this little fence here so on the very middle and very back of the stern so just go to the middle block on top of the iron bars put a fence and then a lantern just gives it a little light in the back. And now get some dark oak stairs and dark oak signs. And from this middle block, on the wood, go one, two, three, four, and on the fifth, put a stair and bring that, make that five blocks long. And then on the other side here, do the same. Leave a three block gap, do the same thing, five blocks long, stairs like that. And then on here, add some signs for some, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, what are they called? Armrests. So we'll do that. And then from this side, I'll leave a four block gap and do a, like, three stair on the middle. I don't, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's there. And then on the other side, leave a three block gap from the middle and put a set of three stairs. 
So those are these will just be some benches. I think. Come on. There we go. And then finally we'll add some anvils. So get your anvils. And on these two corner blocks, I'm gonna want to replace those with anvils. And then for the edge, first block out from the docking bridge, put an anvil there on each side. And then the middle block of these stairs, put an anvil. And that's, I think that's all the detail there. So now I'll move on to this mast here. So, actually, we can add some handrails. On um, this deck here, you can just finish off these handrails here on a a deck. So just come on, put these in. There we go. And then on the next deck up, don't put in handrails yet because the lifeboats will go there. So. Um, counting this block, a one, two, three, and on the fourth, put a black concrete and put the stone buttons on it there and there. And on the block in front of that, get your yellow terracotta again and go there. And I believe this is uh, eight up, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At the top, get your uh, red, s smooth red sandstone stairs, and put these around, except for the one spot there in the front. Put the oak fence and hand right at the top, and then once again get the ladder and put those here. Like that. And now, hmm, we'll do the, only one, the little antenna on the top. So, get smooth quartz stairs and smooth quartz slab, and go to the middle block here of the wheelhouse and go block forward and do a stair, and then on the back, go one block in, do a stair. And in between, just put in some smooth quartz slabs, like that. And then, I'll get these stairs on the side. So you can get oak planks, oak stairs, smooth quartz stairs, a smooth quartz block, and then, actually the iron bars too. So, on this corner block here, go forward one, two, three, and on the fourth, Replace this block with a uh, oak planks, and then same with the block in front of it, and then put a little stair in front of that, and just make a little staircase here. So just bring this out, and then bring those up, and this block can, can go around, and then bring these stairs up. It should look like that. Do the same on the other side. So replace these two blocks, and then put in the stairs like that uh, more stairs and then the blocks which go around and then these stairs and then you can add the handrails around this section so go from here just add these handrails all around around the stairs and through here. So this is going to take a little bit because it's kind of long. It goes around. So, actually, after this uh, tutorial, I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up Rich the Roos's uh, Folly Class Tugboat Interior tutorials so that'll be finished and then after that I'm gonna move on to probably the SS Kiwa in there 
which I'm working on with Zachary Smith. He doesn't have a YouTube channel, but that's his name. So the interior is not quite done yet. So hopefully by the time I get to it, it'll be done. You can see I've already got the hole started there. So anyway, moving on. Another little detail up here is the uh, like the, the funnels. So you get smooth quartz stairs, yellow terracotta, and black concrete. So I already have some of this laid out. So on the middle block of the red, go to the third block in. Do a stair facing forward, and expand that to three blocks wide. Behind those stairs, do a line of three yellow terracotta blocks, and then go back two, and then row three, and then inward row three, out two, forward two, and row three, row two. So you just have an outline like that. And for each section, on top of this yellow, go up one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, and then one, two, three, four, five, black on top of that. Just do that for each section. Let's build this up all the same until you finish it all. Even on the back here, do the same. Just build it up so that it all lines up. And one, two, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it was probably seven. I don't know. I was counting too fast. And up a few. And then one, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not nine. It's eight. I think maybe I don't. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just counting really fast. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's seven. But yeah, just just do that on all these sections until you finally finish it like that. And now you just fill in the gaps. So from the front, fill in these and fill in in between the f here from the back, fill it in like that. And then just fill all, all this in. And then the black did the same, fill it in there, 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 and there. So that's one funnel done. And then just do the same thing on the other funnel. So I'll leave. Except on here, on this block of red, you have one block gap, and then put the backward stair. And then everything else is the same from here. So, build the outline just the same. And then go up. I suggest rewinding the video if you really need to. Or if you just have copy paste, which we don't. So, if you do that, you do copy. It'll just give us an error. So, I have to do this all by hand, every little bit of it. For now, until we get that sorted out, because we just use a Turnos for our server, so I think the whenever a new version of something is released, it always takes a little bit for it, the Turnos to actually uh, move on with it. Also, after we finish the Kiwatin, uh, and I finished all the tutorials for those. I think I'll start the uh, another new big, very big ship, and it's very big because I accidentally scaled it up uh, by more than I should have. So all the ships we have are scaled up by 70%. So the scale is really 1.7 to 1. So they're a bit bigger than they should be. That's just to fit the interiors in. However, this one big ship, which I'm currently working on is scaled up by 120%. So it's really 2.2 .2 to 1. So that's kind of kind of big if it was the size of the Normandy cuz it's a fictional ship called the RMS Atlas. So it's based off of a picture I found of a 
basically I read this book and it was about where people lived on ships because the earth was flooded. And there's this one ship that people lived on called the Armas Atlas. So I looked up on Google Armas Atlas to see if it was a real thing. It's not, but somebody uh, on DeviantArt made a drawing of this fictional ship that they call the Armas Atlas. Just a side view, nothing else. So I took that and basically just tried to try to make the best ship I could based off of that drawing. So I'm currently working on the interior part with also with Zach. So now the funnels are done. There's uh, one more little detail to go in, which are the lifeboats. So what you can do is on the front here, you can put in the handrails there. Just in the front though. Not on the sides. And then in the on the back part of this section you can put these handrails because in between will go the lifeboats so we'll leave room for the just leaving some room for the lifeboats and this is not how I usually do a uh, tutorials like this I wouldn't mark things out I'd usually write them down but I just really need to get this done so for the lifeboats it's actually a pretty simple design so you'll have a smooth quartz block, you need some stairs, you need grindstones, chains, uh, some slabs, and then andesite slabs. So on this block here, go up one, two, three, and then put a stair like that, and then put a block like that, and here, this one, just put a stair there, and now with the stairs, we can put a stair like that, and then around, put one a stair like that, and then make it five stairs, one, two, three, four, five, and then on the other side, two, and on the back, and then fill in this space with slabs, and then on the top, add andesite slabs around the corners, and on the top here. And then on the other side, add the davit again, so up three, stair, and a block, then the grindstones, add one on the bottom there, and then on the sides there, and then a chain in between, like that. So that's one lifeboat done. In between this one, just put some smooth quartz stairs like that, which allow the davits to swing out. And then do the same thing again, so just to put the davit there, except don't put the stair on the side like on the front. Just it's just in between already. Make the same lifeboat. So you have a stair there, and then five on the side, like that. One on the back. You can really customize these to however you want. This is just how I've done it. It's just a short, simple, easy lifeboat and small. So just finish that up. And then the other davit, and then the grindstones, and then the chains in between. And then one more set of smooth quartz stairs here, and do another lifeboat davit, like that. And then make the lifeboat like that. And on the other side too. And in the back. And then the slabs on the inside. And the andesite slabs here. Come on. And then the other lifeboat davit. And this one, since it's the last davit, you can just put a smooth quartz stairs there. And then put in the grindstones for this. And that's all three. And now on the back, you're going to want to do the same thing, but only with two lifeboats. So add the davit with the stair, and then add the lifeboat. Just like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then smooth quartz inside, and a slab cover. 
like that, and then the other davit, and then the grindstones, and then the chains, and then in between, put the smooth core stairs, and the lifeboat, davit, all that. Two, three, four, five. Just like that. And then slabs inside. And a site slab cover. And then the other davit. And this one you can put the stair block on because it's only two lifeboats here. And then put the grindstones and the chains. And then in between here. Uh, get your iron bars, and in between these davits, you can just put iron bars. Like this. So now, really just do that, do the same thing on the other side. So I'll just do a little, what Rich calls a jump cut. I'm not really sure why he calls it that, but it's what I'm going to do. So I just do a little cut, and all the left foots will be done there on the other side. So, see you in a second. Alright, I'm back and I have all those lifeboats done now. So, you can see there's just five on each side, which are 10 lifeboats. Fit the small little ship. So, that concludes my, uh, Brett Tannic tutorial. So, what you can do, I suppose, is what you could do, if you really wanted to, you could, if you have World Edit, then you could do the rigging. You just select your blocks. I'd go from there and then up to like here and then just select that. And then just you could do is just do line uh, cobweb zero, but it's not going to work for me because the world edit is, isn't working. But you can do that if you want, if you have world edit. It's your ship now, not really mine. You can do whatever. You can add an interior. You can change anything on it. Although, only thing I do ask is that you give me credit for the exterior design. Or at least whatever you don't change. So, yeah. That is it. And hopefully I will see you guys in Rich Lewis's Folly Class to Tugboat Tutorial Interior. Part 2. Uh, bye for now.